Okay. wanted to show one of the places down here next to the Big Bug Creek that would uh, kind of give you an idea of the history behind this place. Uh, I brought you to a place called the Teskey Homestead. This was homesteaded, I don't know how, what year it was, maybe I'll look it up if I can find it. It might be on this poster right here. But I'm going to go ahead and use this as a hat cam and do a little bit of a walk around so you can see what it is. It's, just a, uh, it's protected by the, uh, the Game and Fish Department and uh, Bureau of Land Management. So it's all, I think it's been restored somewhat. They've actually put some stairs and things in it and actually put a fence around it. So people won't go in there and destroy things. But it's, it's uh, legal to come in here and look around as long as you don't mess with anything. Anyhow, I'm going to hat cam this thing and uh, show you around a little bit. And it's a little windy today, so uh, some of the video might be kind of noisy. I'm sure that uh, Velcro noise uh, is enough to drive you crazy. <laughs> Anyhow, let me do a little walk around here. Yeah, they built this fence around it, oh, I don't know, five years ago or so. And they put this sign up. U.S. Department of the Interior, Bureau of Land Management. And welcome to the historic Teskey home site. The Aquafria National Monument. The Aquafria National Monument. Uh, I can't remember exactly when they turned it into a national monument, but... Uh, they did that because of the Indian ruins and places like this, the homestead. Just to give you an idea, I'll walk you up here and we'll, uh, yeah, these stairs are something that was built later for the tourist, I guess. I guess I'm considered a tourist. <laughs> oh, they've actually put some stuff up too. Nice. But yeah, this is the actual homestead. I'm amazed. And of course, I think it's a good idea to sign in. Just so people know or that uh, somebody's been here. Uh, today is June, so it's 6 to 15. group. I uh, don't figure I'll be here more than a half hour. There, just to make it all nice and neat and the Teskey home site. That's pretty cool that they did that. Well, how cool is that? They actually have a, a floor plan drawn out of how the house used to be. This site was settled by Cornelius Colonel H. Teskey. When he came to Arizona from Wyoming in 1925, he was nicknamed Colonel because it was easier to pronounce than Cornelius. In 1940, Colonel built a small house on this site and moved in with his wife, Phoebe, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, and baby daughter Trudy. 
The house was later en enlarged to accommodate the arrival of two sons, Bert and Fred, and Colonel's mother, Emma Teske. Here he grew hay, grain, and pinto beans in a field south of the house and in a field across the creek. The fields were watered from a reservoir that collected water from a canal that came off Big Bug Creek about one mile upstream. In addition to water fields on the southeast side of Big Bug Creek, a pipe from the reservoir was suspended over the creek by steel cables. Phoebe grew a small vegetable garden west of the house. Chicken coops, granaries, storage buildings, and a barn and corral were located southwest of the house. Colonel Teske had purchased a registered Morgan Stallion in California, which he bred for many fine horses for the family and others. Along with the horses, the Teske family raised cattle, which were shipped from the community stockyard near what is now Cordes Junction. Phoebe broke the horses and rode the range tending the cattle. The colonel tended the fields, maintained the canal, and worked at the manganese mine at the TH Ranch. The house had no electricity or plumbing, and a simple pipe drained the kitchen sink. Water from the hand-dug well was carried to the house by bucket. Phoebe had to wash clothes outside in a hand-operated Maytag washer. Laundry and bath water was heated on the wood stove. She pressed the clothes with sad irons also heated on the wood stove. Milk from their Hereford cow was uh, kept cool along with other perishables in a clever evaporative cooler designed by Colonel. The butter was kept in the well. The cooler was screened to keep animals and bugs out and was suspended by cable and pulley in the oak tree west of the house. Both parents helped raise their children. The children made their playhouse in the trees and bushes near the house. Their toys were metal trucks and jeeps, a log cabin syrup can, and doll babies. The children had dogs for pets. Colonel made kites, and there was a model airplane that didn't survive too long. Trudy rode the bus to school in Mayer, but Bert and Fred were not in school yet. The family enjoyed occasional get-togethers with the surrounding neighbors for good food, good conversation, and a chance for the children to have playmates. After selling this ranch in 1948, the Teskies moved to Mayer, Arizona for a brief time and later to the Dugas Ranch, which was about eight miles northeast of here. Interesting. They had six acres in, in hay and grain. I'm amazed. Sounds like uh, one of the Kelton family. That's where I would been as I was up at the Kelton Ranch uh, doing some work for them. And I had some time, so I figured I'd come out here and show this off a little bit. The archaeological resources in this area are fragile and irreplaceable. This site is being monitored by Arizona site stewards. Know the law. <laughs> So, this is one of those places, if you come in here and start moving stuff around, and this is the well. This was actually a hand dug well. Do not sit on or, or crawl into. <laughs> well, duh, who would want to crawl into it? And they've, they've actually uh, covered it up. I'm, it used to be probably, I don't know, 30, 40 feet deep. Because the water table here is pretty, the creek is right over there. But here's the uh, the old uh, foundation. <laughs> pretty amazing. And there's the old fireplace. It looks like they've actually restored it a little bit. Uh, last time I was here, before they did any of the work on there, you know, put the fence and stuff in, um, a lot of the face of that fireplace was missing, and I still see some of it still missing. And this must be the pipe that was used to drain the kitchen, <laughs> kitchen sink. Now, of course, somebody had to put their mark in it. Yeah, now that's a fireplace. That's amazing. It's even got a actually got a metal insert. 
I'm not sure how they built the flue. That's a massive flue. I'm surprised it's even standing after being in there so long. You gotta be careful, this is snake country. You can see that corner is the corner of the house, and then that post over there is the corner of the house. And then there's uh, that corner and that corner there. The fireplace was actually built somewhat in the middle, and there was a room back here. Pretty awesome stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to stop by and show it to you. Oh, look at the lizard. Cool little lizard. Yeah. How you doing, little fella? Yeah, you just getting some sun all? Huh? Is that all you're doing? Yeah, you yeah, sunning yourself? Well, I hope my camera picks you up okay. Yeah, those lizards are everywhere in Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, little fella. I'll leave him alone. I don't want to. Don't want to bother him. He's he's cool. Anyhow, it's pretty amazing the way they built stuff back in the day. And you can see how the foundation was built with stone. They just concreted stones together in a line. <laughs> And I'm sure that this was probably a weight-bearing wall because this is the center of the building. So they had a weight-bearing wall right there. Because this looks like it was a pretty, pretty much an open area right here. It's too bad the building isn't still here. But wood goes away. Concrete don't. It does after time, but not nearly as fast as wood. Yeah, you gotta get an idea of what what their front yard looked like. I mean, look at that. And then poles and stuff up there weren't there at the time. I'm sure they didn't have electricity here way back when. And up there is where the Kelton family lives. Up that road, I don't know if you can see, you can see some of it up there. So that's where I just came from. Doing some work for the Kelton Ranch. They just built a new new house up there, and I was a lucky one to get to do the wiring. <laughs> but anyhow, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to uh, show this. Something I wanted to look at. So this is a ranch road here that I just came on. Right there is where I'm parked. So the hay and stuff was out there on the other side of the building. There was actually a reservoir up there. I didn't realize that. Amazing. There's actually a ditch all the way to the reservoir and then from the reservoir to the house. Amazing. They also had a field across the way here. And there was actually a barn. Oh, here's a better picture. Yeah, there's the the sink, and there was that pipe that ran across this way. Living room, and then a small room in the front, and a kitchen area. 
a little pantry and then this is Grandma Teske's room behind the fireplace interesting awesome 1940 to 1948 huh? so eight years he only spent eight years here I think that's what it says he sold it in 1948 he built it in 1940 so the eight years and I know where they moved. As a matter of fact, one of these days I'll get up there and I'll show that too. I'll do a, a walk about that. And it's still an operating ranch up there. The one over there at uh, Dugas Ranch. But yeah, I figured I'd uh, do a little walk about. This would make a good video. A little history. Gotta have some history in life. It was pretty nice of the uh, Bureau of Land Management to come through here and build this and preserve this area. Uh, kudos to them. I'll definitely have to give them a thumbs up. Um, I wonder who owns this now. I don't think it's owned by uh, anybody actually. It's actually a Bureau, uh, Bureau of Land Management property now. U.S. Department of the Interior, a historical site. So yeah, it's probably owned by the state or the Bureau of Land Management. But anyhow, I just thought I'd uh, bring this uh, to your attention. I hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful spot. I could live there, build a house. Although the creek don't have water year round, they had a canal set up with a, an actual reservoir, which is kind of cool. I didn't know that. I learned something new every day. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, please uh, subscribe and hit that like button. And leave a comment. Uh, if there's anything you can think of that would make my videos better, hey. I'm always up for uh, suggestions, so you all take care and have a good day. Thank you very much for watching.